Welcome to Engineering Weekly, Episode 6. And in this week's episode, we're going to be mixing the recording that we have been working on the past five weeks. And now I'm going to take you through my mixing process. I like to use an analog mixing board. I like to work outside of the box. But I also use some plugins. I really only use, like, uh, the Massey CT4 compressor, maybe a two or three times in a song and occasionally on like bass I'll put on the Massey tape head plug I had to I had to basically do two mixes here the first was a sub mix uh, of the electric guitar the mixing board is really only set up in this studio to handle 16 tracks but the song is more than 16 tracks so what I had to do was create a mix of just the electric guitars and I recorded that back into the computer I reduced the track count by summing all the guitar parts to a stereo track, so now we can fit all the other parts, all the other tracks, onto the board. Basically with the vocals, I didn't actually do anything. Uh, I didn't EQ them. Uh, I really didn't put any extra compression on them than what they already had from tracking. All I did was put a little bit of reverb on there and that's about it. The harmonies, I did EQ a little bit on the mixing board. I ended up using the tape head plugin on the Leslie vocal track and to kind of uh, tame the, the highs a little bit. They sound a little edgy. And I used some EQ on the board to further, you know, reduce those nasty f frequencies that were on that track. Um, I think what, what happened with that was the microphones were overloading a little bit because the Leslie was very loud. But uh, I think I was able to get it under control. I'm running a kick drum through the Vintec X73i as an equalizer, and from the Vintec, the kick drum signal goes to the Lightning Boy Audio LB2A, where it's set as a limiter and it's uh, limiting the kick drum. I didn't think the snare was quite beefy enough, so what I did was sent the signal into an A Designs Pacifica to boost it up. Um, and then ran the signal into uh, my passive EQ. From there, the signal went into an Alltech 438C for makeup gain. And then I hit the compressor really hard on that too to get that thing moving and set the release time for a very short release. The bass, I just EQ'd a little bit on the mixing board. That was about it. Download the tracks and mix them yourself. Mm -hmm. 